All right. So kind of adding on to what Chelsea was talking about, we're going to talk more about plug ducts and specifically persistent or chronic plug ducts. So these are your clients that just seem to always get them or they never completely go away. Two thirds of breastfeeding people do experience plug ducts and they can be quite uncomfortable and even painful. And pain is the number one reason that people wean. So, you know, even though plug ducts kind of seems like this benign thing that we deal with, it's not truly an infection or anything like that. If it's, especially if it's persistent, a lot of times clients just kind of get fed up with it, right? They get really frustrated. They can't get ahead of the problem and they just don't think it's worth it. Breastfeeding is not worth it if I'm constantly dealing with, with a plug duct. So I have seen this definitely be a reason that people consider weaning. Or sometimes I'll have a client who thinks, you know, this breast is out of control. I need to calm it down. So I'm going to wean for a little while. But even short-term weaning can exacerbate the problem. So it's really important, I think, that we um, support our clients through this, knowing that it can, make a, it can be a make or break for their breastfeeding success for some people. So now this is the new approach to a treatment plan. If all else fails, you could try therapeutic ultrasound. This is a really easy peasy way of treating plug ducts and it can be quite effective and it's especially good for people who do have persistent or chronic plug ducts. It's not a first line of defense, so you would try all of these other things first that we talked about, the usual tools in our toolkit, but if that's not working, then this is a great a great next step. Um, because like I said, most plug ducts will resolve on their own in 48 hours or will resolve with these other things that we mentioned. So these are for the tough ones.